Hello and uh, welcome back to another segment of Terminating Low Voltage Cables. I'm Ron with Ideal Industries and again welcome to my shop. In this segment we're going to discuss some of the things you need to understand when we go about putting a connector on the end of a piece of RG6 or any type of coax wire actually. So, uh, and when we put connectors on the end of this wire, uh, the, the basics are F connectors which is what you use in all your cable and si satellite applications and then there's four flavors of one of those. There's a, a push on, a twist on, both those being tooless, uh, and a crimp and then a compression and we'll show you all of those. Uh, we also have B and C coax connectors which date back probably to the 1930s and they've been around a long time. A lot of times you use the security work today, uh, government work, uh, you know there's a lot of places we still would use B and C's. Uh, and then of course there is the famous RCA style connector which is used obviously in the audio video world. Now all of these connections can be used on different types of coax we refer to as RG59, RG6 and RG6 quad. Now all three of those wires are interchangeable. They're all referred to as 75 ohm cables, and that's the type of cable we use in, the, in those industries. And I'll tell you a dirty little secret about these connectors and these cables, and that is that the coax is not always the same size. You can go out and buy cable from brand A and go out and buy some more from brand B, and even though they're both RG6s and rated for RG6, that does not mean they physically are the same size. And the specification is really not more about the size of more or less a, a kind of electrical specification. Uh, so it can vary. So as a connector manufacturer, we have to try and make sure our connectors hit a range of, of cables. And to be truthful with you, at times we actually have to make a connector for a very specific type of cable because the braid's real heavy or some reason uh, in the cabling. And I'll give you a great example where the wire size might change on you. And that's a, a great example is maybe like a component video cable that goes from the back of a set-top box to the TV or, or you know DVD player, whatever it might be. And those are uh, three little connectors on those wires. There's a red, a green, a blue uh, RCA connector. And if you ever cut that wire in half, you'd find out it's mini RG59. It's a small piece of coax. Uh, so, um, you know, if, you're, if, if you put a projector in the ceiling over here someplace and you're putting a receiver maybe, you know, 40, 50 feet away from it, could you go out and buy a pre-made cable with RCA ends on the end of it and, 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 and make that happen? And absolutely you can. Or could you go out and buy some RG6? Uh, cable and go out and buy some RCA, RCA, RG6 connectors put on the end of it and make your own version of this component video cable and you absolutely can. So, uh, but that is a critical thing in these wires. If we're going to get the water type, just like in a compression connector that we want, uh, we really need to make sure the cable and connector are really kind of matched and that's one of the problems you'll have. And sometimes the connector slides right on the wire and sometimes you can barely get it on it. So uh, that is a big pitfall you do try to avoid. So if you take care of that prop up front, your connections will go a lot smoother. So uh, I've got a video on how to strip the wire and how to put all these uh, connections on. So enjoy them and we'll see you next time.